finally, after all the rumours, after being left out of Leicester's past two fixtures, the deal is secured. We see Fafana holding the shirt, meeting with Todd Bowley. He flew to America to do his medical. Bowley had some concerns, which, to be fair, I kind of respect that diligence. I really respect that due diligence. He wanted to have his own medics look at it. And I can respect that because you're signing a player for that amount of, uh, of money. You want to make sure that he's fit to wear the shirt and he's fit to play. And he's, he, he fits the bill for that price tag. But it's a bit of business that we have needed. And it's probably Chelsea's best signing this year. Yes, it's a lot of money. An extravagant, an extortionate amount of money. But it is a player we need Desperately. A ball playing centre back, strong, fast, good in the air, agile, young. This is what we need. And this is probably the transfer that makes the most sense thus far. Uh, you could say Sterling has been a fantastic acquisition and addition to this team. Um, but the other signings for me, I was very excited about Koulibaly. Uh, but I think Fafana is that legacy buy. It's that longevity that we could potentially have with Wesley Fafana. And he is hopefully going to perfectly pair well with the likes of Thiago Silva and Kalidou Koulibaly. There's still a lot of business that could potentially be done. You're seeing Tuchel ask constantly, are there going to be more comings are there going to be more goings it's a situation that I feel is looming largely over this Chelsea team at the moment we don't know whether we're coming or going the performance last night was abysmal and this is one piece of good news that has sort of lifted spirits only slightly only slightly because I know a player is not going to just fix this turmoil that we're in at the moment. Uh, I was talking to someone today about how the transfer ban that we had a few years ago where we, under Frank Lampard, where we got to like, nurture the likes of Rhys James, Tamori, Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham. All these players were nurtured knowing that their place was secured and they could go out and enjoy their football. And how... So much has changed in really not that much time. It's looking like a team where there's a lot of imbalances. A lot of players are not happy. A lot of players are starting guaranteed. Not a lot of squad rotation. And the competition for places at the moment doesn't seem very fair. And I spoke about this in the video I made last night. But something has got to change. I think Tuchel knows that. I'm pretty sure once this transfer window is wrapped up, then we might see a bit more stability in our performances. And for Fana, the latest arrival, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with what he's going to bring to this team. I'm, I'm quietly confident he's going to sit and fit into this team perfectly. Um, I don't think he's going to take as much time adjusting as perhaps some of the other players will. Uh, but we tactically, we're a mess, so we've got to get it right. We've got to get it right. Hopefully this means Rhys James will no longer be played out of position. He'll go into that right wing, right wing back position. For Fana, as our right side is centre back, the two are going to be linking up well, I'm sure. Fafana dinking in balls to reach James in space and on the right side of the pitch we're looking quite strong we're looking quite strong so hopefully this is the turn of things to come who else we could bring in De Jong is rumoured uh, the, Le the Leipzig centre back Garvidal he's also rumoured Aubameyang Still hasn't seemed to have been sorted out. Uh, and if you've watched any of my videos, you'll see Aubameyang and Fafana, for me, were the signings that I felt we need to make, unfortunately. I'm not one of those Chelsea 
fans or any football fan that really thinks throwing money at players for quick fixes and, and extortionate amounts solves anything. Uh, that's why I mentioned the transfer ban that we had and how well we performed with the squad that we had and the healthy rotation and the harmony that was in that was within that team doesn't seem to be there at the moment. So there are some eyebrows raised from myself based on how we're going to keep everyone happy in this team. Hopefully this is a sign of better things to come. Aubameyang potentially incoming. To me, that's the business that we need. That's the striker that we need. He clearly is not favouring Brozier. Havertz in the false nine, not working. Bring Aubameyang in. For short-term fix, what we do next season, I don't know. DM, also a situation I feel like we need to address. Said it in the video last night, we're knackered in that position now. Jorginho and Kante, for me, they can't do it anymore. They've given us some great... Kante, in particular, has given us fantastic years. He's covered, you know, the amount of grass that someone can expect in two careers of football. N'Golo Kante's done it in one. So uh, there's no hard feelings there. Uh, there's no disappointment there. He's given it his all. What a fantastic player. Will go down as a legend. Personally, I don't think he'll ever reach the heights. And I don't think he'll be able to play at the intensity he, he once was renowned for. Jorginho, I think it's time to pull the plug on. Very leggy. Not offering much apart from ball composure uh, and passing short-term, short space passing, tight pressure passing. We need more than that. We need a more dynamic player. I'm not sure this window is the, one, the, the right time to get one of those players. However, I don't know how we're going to even stay in the top six without someone in that position. Conor Gallagher, not sure he can do it there. Kovacic is all we have. Kovacic is all we have. I would play Kovacic and Loftus-Cheek. I'm not sure, but that's that's a discussion for another video. Wesley Fofana is a blue. Finally, the best transfer we could have made this window has been done and signed, and it's a long-term deal, and hopefully we're going to see the best of Wesley Fofana for many years to come. Guys, let me know what you think about this deal. Are you as, are you as content as I am? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I want to hear your thoughts, all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next video in a bit.